Can you talk about the eyewear and the importance of not looking directly yeah. at it? Uh, yes, don't look at the sun with just your eyes. Uh, it, it will, it can cause permanent damage. And so what you need to do is use proper safety stuff, which people will say, well, use sunglasses or use Pop-Tart wrappers. No, you need to make sure you get the right uh, glasses and you can get them very cheap and you can buy them now, plan ahead for April 8th and the total solar eclipse. And except when a, an eclipse is in totality, even at this point with the ring of fire, you can still hurt your eyes. If you don't have those glasses and you wanna do something right now, uh, I, you know, first of all, don't leave the TV because we that would be bad. That but be. if you do leave the TV, then you want to you can create a projection of this pretty easily just take a piece of cardboard or a piece of paper even and poke a little pinhole in it and then stand with your back to the sun hold up hold that up and have the sunlight going through the hole and project onto another piece of paper or onto the concrete or something below and you'll see this it'll create an image that will look basically like this and so that's one way you can also do, just do your fingers together like this. It'll make multiple projections if you get the, the geometry right. And you can even look at uh, trees that have uh, light coming through the trees. It's kind of neat if there, it creates lots of pinholes basically. So depending on your tree and your sun orientation, you can look and on a wall or wherever the ground, it'll project lots of little tiny images of the eclipse. So there are ways to do it safely, even if you don't have the right glasses to look at it. Definitely do not, do not, use binoculars or a telescope without a uh, professional uh, filter that's purchased for it because that'll make things just worse but it's there are also filters of course for telescopes which is what they're using uh, in Odessa Texas right now as we go off from the ring of fire it looks like they've got some prominences there on the outside of the sun as well those orange uh, things along the outside are probably where it's throwing material up re, you know farther than the diameter of the earth and you're seeing it either that or i'm uh, seeing spots but i think that's what i'm saying and by you're the way you will it. <laughs> okay uh the also sunspots you can see if you have the right filters probably not with just glasses but if you look at this type of thing when it's not covering the sun there are some sunspots on there some dark spots they're not i mean they're huge they're the size of earth but from here they look small yeah, I'm looking at them right now. They caught my attention just because I, I didn't necessarily see them in the other ones that we had when we were, you know, at the full annularity, I guess is what you would call it. But uh, I didn't yeah. see them. But this one out of Odessa, I'm seeing it. So from here, it looks like, is this kind of in the coming when it's the, the end of it? Are these the last rings of fire that we're going to see uh, throughout the, I guess, early afternoon or morning, depending on where you're located? It is, but what you'll see is as it moves uh, southeast, south, depending on where you have cameras and what countries, uh, they, people will continue seeing the ring of fire as, the, as this, basically it's a shadow essentially moving across the earth as the earth rotates and the moon moves then you actually get this moving. So yeah, Odessa, Texas is done with the ring of fire. Uh, but a little farther southeast, they will be experiencing it now and in eastern South America uh, in another, in many minutes to an hour or two. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here and take sure. a look at these photos. I mean, I feel like I could just stare at this all day. You don't even really need to hear us talk. You can just look at this image and we could leave it up <laughs> and, you know, go home. No, thank you so much for taking the time <laughs> yeah, to join no. us. <laughs> Sure, my pleasure, and it is okay to stare at this as much as you want. There you go. Uh, before I let you go, anything you want to add? Uh, just to enjoy it, think think profound thoughts, and uh, get ready for April eighth. Assuming you're somewhere in the contiguous U.S., and uh, get your get your glasses. You can order them various places online. Be prepared, and uh, you can always go to planetary.org/eclipse. All right. Thank you again for taking the time to be here. We appreciate it. 
And we do have this image zoomed in. This is from time and date. And as we mentioned, we saw that ring of fire over in Odessa, Texas. It is now moving away from there. So you still have a partial eclipse, but you know, not the situation that we were seeing, I don't know, five minutes ago. Now, if you're not familiar with exactly what is going on here, an annular solar eclipse, it's when the moon passes between the sun and earth while it's at its farthest point from earth. With the moon farther away from Earth, it appears smaller than the sun, and the moon does not completely cover the sun. That is what creates that ring of fire effect in the sky. We do have some other cameras, but it looks like they may not be uh, as far south as they would need to be to get a good view. The annular eclipse visible in Oregon, Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, and Texas, and was also seen for some in California, Idaho, Colorado, and Arizona. The eclipse will continue on to Central America, pass over Mexico, Belize, Honduras, and Panama. And in South America, the eclipse will then travel through Colombia before ending off the coast of Brazil. Pretty cool to just look at this, and that's why I said we could just pretty much leave this up on the camera for you. It's important to note during an annular eclipse, you have heard us say this time and time again, it is not safe to look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection that is designed for solar viewing. Of course, you can look at it through images, through your TV right now, which is why we have that popped up. And a uh, partial solar eclipse is going to be visible in pretty much all U.S. states except Hawaii. But you're not going to get anything like what you're looking at here in most parts as you do head out east. Now, this is the last annular solar eclipse that will be visible from the U.S. until June 21st of 2039. Alaska is the only U.S. state in the path for that eclipse. The eclipse will pass over a part of Texas where a total solar eclipse will pass just six months later.